Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Once your child gets to 14, they're likely to be getting a lot more moralistic about life and they'll have a lot stronger ideas of what's right and wrong. That means they're much more likely to take sides and actually make decisions for themselves about who was right and who was wrong in your divorce and separation. Yes, in my experience it was really helpful to listen to the older children. They always had a point of view and often a point of view that I couldn't necessarily see or didn't want to see. Mood swings and challenging behaviour is to be expected. It's really important not to blame everything on your divorce and separation and recognise that a lot of what may be going on is just normal for their age. I think as a parent I had to learn to accept some of the, the way that they were stropping around as part and parcel of their behaviour and actually not react to it. The whole, I found the, the secret is just to, to not engage with it. Whether you like it or not, unfortunately you may well be on the receiving end of that anger and they need to know that it's okay to be angry. Of course there are right and wrong ways of expressing that anger but it's okay to feel angry about this. It was a little bit worrying because I recognised that they were, might have been feeling responsible for us, which isn't really a good, you don't really expect your teenage children to feel responsible for parents and, and where they are. Something that can happen is that they begin to take some of the baggage from your relationships into their new relationships. So it's particularly important to talk to them about what's gone wrong in your relationship, but making sure they know that it doesn't have to happen in every relationship. It certainly doesn't have to happen to them. When your child's getting to older teens, it's important that they're involved in some of the crucial decision making that you're going to have to do. That means that they get a say in when they want to see the other parent, how they want to schedule the time, that they decide how they want to decorate their room, how they want things to be laid out. It's really important for them to have a sense of control over the decisions that are being made for them as well, and they're really part of that. The older children um, certainly were, were given the opportunity to, um, to explain and verbalise exactly how they wanted to, to live their lives with their parents and that actually came up in the children's proceedings in the court but it did enable them to have a voice and, um, and, and they, they were listened to. Divorce and separation always affects children, but as long as you make sure there is minimal conflict between you and your partner and they have regular access to both of you, it doesn't have to be negative. Mm -hmm.